tonight with um, our tent, but we're going to make do. Um, tonight is our annual fundraiser for the DAV, and the winner tonight will be going on to compete against other Cove communities, um, and then at that finale, we present the check to the DAV for all the money that we've raised among all of the Cove communities. <coughs> Sorry. Tonight's MC you may recognize as a good friend to Camelot Lakes, as she has sang and danced with us numerous parkway parties and has been our DJ too. She comes from an enriched <coughs> musical family of plat multi-platinum and Grammy award winners. This young lady is an awesome vocalist, writer, and performer. She has a podcast, YouTube channel, and a huge presence in all social media platforms. She has performed all over the world and has eight <coughs> Grammy nominations and multiple Billboard <coughs> Recognition Awards. You may also remember her as the lead singer in her own incredible band, Yaya Diamond and the Dream Chasers, who play all over Florida and even played here at Camelot Lakes. We are so honored to have her with us tonight, the amazing Yaya Diamond. And now I have to discredit her, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey guys, how are you guys doing tonight? Okay, so if it rains, just make sure we know where, it, where it's leaking so we can give you a bucket. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I want to introduce the judges tonight. Um, it is just a pleasure to be here again with you guys and seeing all the wonderful faces and the familiar faces as well. It's, I, don't, I don't take it lightly that people will want me around because I'm kind of weird. Anyway, so our judges are, <laughs> our judges are all seasoned professionals who have had many years of experience in the entertainment industry. We're so lucky to have them here at Camelot Lakes. Vivian, and I'm going to torture this last name. Carer? I did that right. Oh, hey! <laughs> Vivian Carer, yes, you may know, you have known her as the Sarasota, Sarasota Sally, is a music promoter and owns a dining club, supporting local restaurants, businesses, and local musicians. She has a huge social media presence. She has several musical acts she promotes in Sarasota. She is the event coordinator for one of her local clients. She is the ambassador of her nonprofit organization, Flight to the North Pole, bringing joy to terminally ill children in Manatee and Sarasota counties. She has lived in Sarasota for the past 40 years, leaving her state of New Jersey. Welcome, Vivian Curran. Oops. Sarah Santiago. <laughs> I have to say it right, right? You know what I mean? It's a Spanish last name, right? <laughs> it's an accomplished jazz singer and dance band vocalist. Sarah lights up the stage with an extensive musical range covering genres from standards to rock to pop to R&B and everything in between. Sarah sang on a, a, a Whitney Houston song woo, with David Foster at the Van Wazel, which in turn gained half a million views on TikTok. Locally, Sarah has been featured with her new song, Lightning, on WSRZ 109.7 FM, and will be performing the song live at the car show in downtown Lakewood Ranch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She has also worked with many booking agents and continues to sing with diverse musicians at restaurants, country clubs, corporate events, and weddings. Nationally Sarah, uh, nationally, Sarah has traveled to Las Vegas and throughout the East Coast to perform for private events and holiday parties. Welcome, Sarah Santiago. <laughs> and we always save the best for last, right? <laughs> Ter Terry Lyons, Duncan, right, has been performing on stages of Sarasota and Bradenton for almost 20 years, 
first with community theater. I love community theater, by the way. We can't get, we can't get past it. Give that a round of applause. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And, oh yes, yeah, see, that's it, and no money. That, that, that kind of hit you hard, didn't it? Okay, and then with various bands, before fronting the duo on a whim. She also has local church, she, uh, she's also a local church soloist. Weekdays, you can find Terry as a dutiful civil, civil servant working for Sarasota County. <laughs> Welcome, Terry Lyons Benson. All right, so <clears throat> what the judges are looking for. Well, I mean, you know, being a judge, I'm, I'm sorry? Talent. Talent? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, too. <laughs> so stage peasants, do they, do they dominate the stage? So you have to dominate your stage, you know? <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do they engage the audience? What's up, guys? <laughs> Engaging the audience, right? Professionalism. Were they dressed appropriately for the evening? I mean, you know, if they came in underwear and, and they sang the underwear song, it would be appropriate. Um, so are they dressed appropriately? Did, they, did their attire, costume, complement their performance? Again, I just said underwear, so. But I don't think anybody's in underwear tonight. Am, am, am I good? You're in underwear tonight? No, I'm not wearing it, though. Oh, you're not wearing it? Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was a little TMI. Okay, competence. We're gonna keep going there, but thank you for that that visual. Did you think they performed well? Talent, of course. Did did they appear to be well rehearsed? Did you personally enjoy the performance? And did the performance hold your attention the entire time? So these are things that you know. They have to actually for competence. And audience reaction, was the audience involved? Did they appear to enjoy the performance? And how enthusiastic was the audience when the performance ended? These are all the things that the judges are looking for. And I'm sure the judges know how to judge. We do. And we do too, right? So if you don't like someone, the one thing I say is booing is never allowed. Okay? Don't go sad on me. I mean, you know, it's not the gong show. You know, we're good. We're good. Just yeah. That. What is that? What that? It, oh, is that good or bad? That's bad. So that's internal booing. We do that. Is that like standard here, at Camelot Lakes? No. Okay. Can't do that. I'm sorry. But we, if we had a gong. <laughs> we would definitely hit it. So maybe we should look into getting a little okay. miniature gong and a guy in, a, in some underwear. Some underwear. So, oh, okay, never mind. All right, so let's go ahead and go into our contestants now that I'm here and we don't have to wait 30 minutes. Um, introducing our 2024 contestants. Contestant number one, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, gosh, guys, are you ready? Yeah. 